Hi, I'm Dari Franz, and I'm going to solve the quadratic equations today with you by using the quadratic formula. Firstly, we have to rewrite, to rearrange our equations to have the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, and then by using the quadratic formula to solve them. Okay, let's do it. This is our first equation. 2x plus 1 squared equals 3 minus x. Let's solve the parentheses. 2x plus 1 squared. I will use the equation z plus y squared equals z squared plus 2z by y plus z squared. In our case z equals 2x, so we have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 3 minus x. Okay, so now everything from the right hand side I will move to left hand side and we'll get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus 3 plus x equals 0. Now let us rewrite it. Let us add the terms with the same power of x, like 4x plus x and 1 minus 3 can be added. And we'll get 4x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So we got the quadratic equation in form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And in our case a equals 4, b equals 5 and c equals minus 2. And we can use now quadratic formula. It says that the solutions of our quadratic equations x is equals minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let us see. In our case, will be like minus 5 b squared 5 squared minus 4ac minus and minus gives plus. So it will be plus 4 2 by 4 divided by 2a 2 by 4 and it equals minus 5 plus minus square root of 57 divided by 8 let us rewrite it like minus 5 divided by 8 plus minus 57 divided by 8 okay this is our answer and let's continue the second equation is x minus 1 divided by x equals 1 in this case we have x like denominator, so we have to remember that x cannot be 0. So when we'll find our solutions, we have to check them whether they are not 0. Okay, let's do it. Now let's multiply both sides by x. We got x squared minus 1 equals x. Now let's move everything from right hand side to left hand side to get 0 in right hand side. We got x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So this is our form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. In this case a equals 1, b is minus 1, c is minus 1 and we can use our formula. Let's put our a, b, c in this formula and we'll get our solutions x equals minus b 1 b squared 1 minus 4 by 1 by minus 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 1 and let's simplify 4 by 1 is 4 by minus 1 is minus 4 minus minus 4 is 4 we have 1 plus 4 so it's square root of 5 and we have our roots are 1 divided by 2 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Okay, this is our answer. And let's see the third equation. x minus 2 squared equals 1 plus x. Let's solve the parentheses first. We'll use the rule that z minus y squared equals z squared minus 2 z by y plus z squared. 
In our case, z is x and y is 2. So we have x squared minus 2x by 2 plus 4 squared. And it equals 1 plus x. So let's move everything from right hand side to left hand side to get 0 at right hand side. And we'll get x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 1 minus x equals 0. So let's combine the terms with the same power of x and minus 4x and minus x and 4 and minus 1. And we'll get x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals 0. This is our form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 and a equals 1 b equals minus 5 and c equals 3. Let's use our quadratic formula now. We have solutions. Let's put our a, b, c in this formula and we'll get x equals minus b is 5, 5 plus minus square root of minus 5 squared 25 minus 4 by 1 by 3 and divide by 2a is 2 by 1 and let us simplify we got 5 plus minus square root of 13 divided by 2. These are our answers. Let's rewrite it. Like 5 divided by 2 plus minus square root of 13 divided by 2. That's it. Thank you for your attention and hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>